I? When I saw this question, I was like, no, no, no. I must share the solution to this particular question with my lovely subscribers, okay? Now, we are asked to solve for this. If x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. All right. This is how to go about it. First, we are going to concentrate on this and bring out some vital equations from there. So we have that x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay? So that means that our x squared is equal to... If this uh, minus x crosses, it becomes plus x. If this plus 1 crosses, it becomes minus 1. So we have that x squared is equal to x minus 1. Now let's call this equation 1. Also, from this main equation... If we say x squared minus x, let's transfer this one to the other side. It becomes minus 1, right? So we have x in common. This and this has x, have x in common. So we bring out x. Then we open our bracket. x squared divided by x, we give us x. Minus x divided by x, we have 1, is equal to minus 1. Okay, now let's divide both sides of this equation by x. When we do that, you will notice that your x minus 1, x minus 1, is equal to minus 1 over x. Now let's call this equation 2, all right? Can you see something? That equation 1 is equal to x minus 1. Equation 2 is also equal to x minus 1. So we can actually say, if we should compare equation 1 and 2, that x squared is equal to minus 1 over x, right? So we are going to write that, that x squared is equal to minus 1 over x. Okay, now, what if we decide to multiply both sides of this equation by x? Why? So that we remove this denominator. So we have x squared multiplied by x is equal to minus 1 over x multiplied by x. So this will uh, cancel this. We have x squared times x. We give us x to the power of 3. Yes, since a to the power of y multiplied by a to the power of x is equal to a to the power of y plus x. Same base, you add the power, okay? In this case, the power of our x is 1. All right, so we have x to the power of 3 is equal to minus 1. Now, let's call this equation 3, okay? All right, if this is the first time you're coming across this particular page or this channel, please click on the subscription button and on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video, all right? Okay, now, like I said, the solution to this is very amazing. Stick with me to the end and you're going to be glad you did. Now, the question says, x to the power of 20, 20 plus x to the power of 10, 10 minus 1 is equal to what? So, let's start with x to the power of 20, 20. Let's use all the values we got to manipulate it, okay? Now, x to the power of 20, 20 can be uh, written as x to the power of 1 multiplied by x to the power of 20, 19. Recall what I said. When you have the same base, you add the power. So when you add this, you are going to get this back. Now, this 20, 19 can be written as x to the power of 20, 19 can be written as x to the power of 3 multiplied by... So 20, 19 divided by 3. Let's see what we have. 3, we divide 20 to give us 6, 6 remainder 2. If we divide 21, we have what? 7. If we divide 9, we have 3. So we have 6, 7, 3. Okay? All right. So we are now going to replace this x to the power of 20, 19 with x to the power of 3 bracket 6, uh, 3 multiplied by 6, 7, 3. So we can now rewrite this x to the power of 20, 20 to be equal to x to the power of 1 multiplied by x to the power of 3 brackets, 6, 7, 3, okay? It can be written as x to the power of 20, 20 is equal to x to the power of 1 multiplied by x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 6, 7, 3, right? So we have x to the power of 20, 20 
is equal to x to the power of 1 multiplied by x to the power of 3 is minus 1, recall, right? Yes, isn't that amazing? So we have minus 1 raised to the power of 6, 7, 3. Okay, so we have that x to the power of 20, 20 is equal to x to the power of 1, which is still x, right? Multiplied by minus 1 since... This is odd, so minus 1 raised to the power of odd number will still give us minus 1. So we have that x raised to the power of 20, 20 is equal to minus x. So let's call this equation 4, all right? Now let us manipulate x to the power of 10, 10. x to the power of 10, 10. This is saying as x to the power of 2 multiplied by x to the power of what? 1008. Now... Why are we choosing this? I chose x to the power of 2 because I know that if I choose x to the power of 1, what I will have here is 1009 and this cannot be divided by 3. Because we know you, we have x to the power of 3. We have a value for it. So that's why I used x to the power of 2 here. So that I will get a number that I can multiply by 3 this way. Okay? So we have x to the power of 10, 10 is equal to x to the power of 2 multiplied by... Then we have here to be x to the power of, let's divide this by 3 and see what we have. Divided by 3, 3 divide itself. Well, if we divide 10, we have um, 3, 3 remainder 1. If we divide 10 again, 3, 3 remainder 1. If we divide 18, 6. So this will be x to the power of 3 multiplied by 3, 3, 6. Okay? All right. Now let's solve. This implies that x to the power of 10, 10 is equal to x to the power of 2 multiplied by, recall that this is same thing as x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 3, 3, 6. Okay, so we continue. We continue, we continue, we continue. So let me write what we have here. We have that x to the power of 10, 10, right? is equal to x to the power of 2 multiplied by x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 3, 3, 6, all right? Now, we can write x to the power of 10, 10 is equal to x to the power of 2 multiplied by, this is minus 1, right? Raised to the power of 3, 3, 6. But since we have an uh, even number here, that means we are going to have plus 1 here. So we have that x to the power of 10, 10 is equal to x to the power of 2 multiplied by 1. That means that x to the power of 10, 10 is equal to x squared. So this is another important word. We are close to the solution. Yes, we are. Okay, now to the question that we are asked to solve. x to the power of 20, 20 plus x to the power of 10, 10 minus 1 is equal to what, right? Now, we solved x to the power of 20, 20, and we got minus x. So, we can write minus x plus, then we solved x to the power of 10, 10, and we got x squared. Plus what? x squared minus 1 is equal to what? All right? Now, let's rearrange this. Let's rearrange this. We write x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to what? Right? Okay. Now, from this first equation, we have that x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. So that means that x squared minus x is equal to this plus 1 we cross to become minus 1. All right? So we can now replace x squared minus x here with minus 1. So if we do that, we'll have that minus 1 minus 1 is equal to what? Minus 2. And this becomes our solution. Isn't that awesome? That is very, very lovely. Thank you for watching. Have a bright, lovely, and beautiful day. Bye.